Welcome back, collectors and crafters. Back in July, I attended an exclusive toy event called Sweet Sweet in New York City. And I brought home this giant bag of toys. So I thought it was about time to show you guys everything that I brought home. Now, I may not open everything that I find in this bag, but some things I will. And if you watch my YouTube shorts or follow me on my other social medias like TikTok or Instagram, you can watch me eventually open the other items that are in this bag. I'm so excited. Let's get into this. I think basically what I'm going to do is just unload everything and then I will show you guys all the items individually. Okay, so first we have this Build Your Own Pinksies unicorn that I made at the Lukey Lab booth at Sweet Sweet. These new kits are so cool and it was so fun to customize my own unicorn. Then over at the Blip Toys booth, I found out that Squinkies are back and I got to dispense my own little kitty Squinky out of the Cupcake Surprise Bake Shop which I have already done a full review video on. So tap on my link in the description below to go watch it. It's a really fun one. Also in the swag bag were these two Ami Amis from Jack's Pacific. Now at Sweet Sweet, they actually had a whole wall made out of these, which was so cool. So we got this one that's like a little blue record player. And we got this one that's like a little pink mixtape. These are so cute, you guys. Then we got a Shashibo. It's a magnetic shape-shifting puzzle cube that can make over 70 different shapes. There are so many different designs to collect. And when you connect them with other Shashibos, you can make even bigger structures. Let's take a look at our design. Oh, wow, I see owl faces. Oh my gosh, are those cheetah faces too? I think it might be like wild animal themed. Oh my gosh, yes, look, there's an otter. Ooh, and a raccoon. Then there's some kind of bird here. Oh, and look, there's a bear. Oh, and an eagle. Oh, and there's a wolf. And then I think this is the last one. It's a moose. We also got a couple of Palm Pals. They have beans in their bottoms. And their names are Zeke Monster and Petunia Butterfly. I also picked up some ramen noodles from the Nito or Skilling booth. And I'm sure many of you have seen these before. But I also got some teeny Nitos at the Skilling booth. Now these I hadn't seen before. They're basically just tiny Nitos. They are so fun to squish. You can squish them separately or all together. And they kind of stick to each other, which can be fun. Now this is exciting. They sent me home with a Disney 100 Series 10 Dorables. Now this I will definitely be opening in a short video, so make sure that you're following me on all my socials so you don't miss it. Another item in our swag bag was this Pudgy Penguins Igloo from PMI Toys. Now this I will open because I do have a few. Oh my gosh, it's a dupe. I already have this one. <laughs> I'm really excited about this one. It's a Disney 100 Tsum Tsum mystery pack. I can't wait to open this and that will be done in another short. And for more plushies, we got two plush goals Wawa frogs. We got watermelon Wawa and strawberry Wawa. They each have a key ring on their head and a very crinkly sounding belly. I pulled out this tiny little container of purple Play-Doh, which is pretty self-explanatory. Then I got these two Jurassic eggs. One is a Jurassic World Captives hatchling buildable dino's egg with slime. And the other 
is a Jurassic Park 30th anniversary captives build and battle dinos. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be so fun to open. And from the Play-Doh booth, not only did I get this sample of pink air clay, I also got the air clay bakery shop kit. Then from Little Tykes, we got this mini Let's Go Cozy Coop. The wheels do spin on this, but the doors unfortunately do not open. We also got one of the Little Tykes flashback minis balls. This is actually my first Little Tykes flashback minis, so I am excited to open this one. Hopefully we don't get another cozy coop. And not only did we get this pop art soft blind bag from Sepia, we also got this Cats vs. Pickles blind bag. I'm gonna open this pop art soft elephant bag right now because I've already opened a few of these before. I'm excited to see which one we get. Ooh, we got the one with the sprinkles! This'll go so well with my candy corn one. And it looks like their name is Candy! And, of course, it has the beans in the feet. And then we have this Sonic the Hedgehog figure from Jack Pacific, And it looks like he's articulated. So let's take him out and see. Okay, it looks like his arms, legs, and head rotate. But can he stand on his own? Okay, I think the answer to that is kind of. Oops, I almost forgot to show that these are some of the other figures you can collect. At the Nintendo booth, that's right, Nintendo was there. I got these red sunglasses that say Nintendo on them. Dolphin Hat Games sent me home with one of their Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza games, which I have never played before, so I am excited to play this for the first time. Then I got this Magnetab Minis Lightning Bolt Fidget. Basically, there is a magnetic pen attached to the back, which you use to draw out the little magnetic balls. Then you just use your fingers to release the balls and do it all over again. This is honestly such a fun little fidget. We also took home a couple of Scribble Scrubbies from Crayola. We got one Pets Dog and one Ocean Pets Dolphin, which I actually have two of, so we'll open this right now. We got two markers, a brush, and our little Scribble Scrubby Dolphin, who has a fuzzy texture. Now we'll just doodle on a few hearts, and then we can scrub them off with our brush. It actually comes off pretty well, especially if you run it underwater. Then we got a fingerling from Wowie. This one's name is Charlie. And I did actually get a few more of these, so I am going to be doing a full review video, so stay tuned for that. Okay, these look really fun. They are stomp rocket squeeze rockets. Basically, you just squeeze them and it shoots the little foam rockets out. Let's see how much power they have. Oh, <laughs> wow, that was way more power than I was expecting. Let's try one in slow-mo. Okay, these are too much fun. Next up is a Kodak horse puzzle. This is pretty self-explanatory. It's just a 100-piece puzzle. Now, this product is brand new. It is a GooTubes Gamers Fidget. And luckily, I can show you guys this one without even having to take it out. It is a fidget that is built for gamers. Basically, you just squeeze each side and the goo, or whatever you want to call it, goes through the tubes. It's so squishy and fun to squeeze. I think this is going to be a very popular fidget. And in our swag bag, we also got this Decorate Your Own Sparkly Jewelry Box. 
It says, create your own design with over 1,500 gems. This looks like it's going to be fun. Okay, this is the one I am probably the most excited for because it is almost Halloween. It is the Tasty Labs Wizard Potion Science Kit from Thames and Cosmos. It includes cauldron, wand, flasks, tools, and ingredients. There's color-changing potion, slime seed potion, anti-gravity potion, fizzy potion, and frog's eggs potion. I cannot wait to open this, so make sure you guys are following all of my social medias and stay tuned! Oh my gosh, this is our last item. It is a 3D doodler pen. I really have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but I am sure I will come up with something. It is so cool. I mean, look at this robot. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, there was so much to get through, but I'm really glad you guys stuck around to the end. Thank you all so much for watching and make sure to follow me on all of my social medias and check out my YouTube shorts to see all of the toys that I didn't open in this video. And as always, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.